Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Gamer Gamer here. And yeah, I'm finally gonna try Final Fantasy Exit because all of my friends won't shut the f up about it. So anyway, let's just get right into it. Uh, pay no attention to the fact that I have a max level character. That one is just for show. Okay, here we go. What kind of races we got here? All right, we got a human, a giraffe. I don't even know what that is. A bigger human, edgy scaly human, and a disgrace. All right, I made this guy. Uh, he's max muscles, which is almost as much as I have in real life. Uh, birthday, I don't care. Uh, d don't care. Well, th this one will do, I guess. Strong guy. All right, let's get it over with. Did you know that the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV has a free trial and includes the entirety of A Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heavensward expansion up to level 60 with no restrictions on playtime? This video is sponsored by Dungeon Fighter Online, link in the description below. Dungeon Fighter Online is a 2D MMO with retro pixel graphics. It's got beautiful illustrations and animations for each class that also add to the experience. Don't forget to listen to the BGM, I'm telling you. They have the hot summer festival going on right now until August 10th. Come spend a hot summer's day with the Dungeon Fighter Online. Events for leveling and gearing characters will be updated and making it easier for even new and returning users to get the best gear available and the female gunner character is gonna get her neo awakening update which means she will have her third awakening to access even more spectacular skills so if dungeon fighter online looks interesting to you check it out in the links in the description below and now back to the video skip that one i don't need to do that uh yeah i'm playing with a mouse keyboard idiot of course this wh wh what do you mean this can't be skipped Okay, stop it right there. Did you catch what little Billy did wrong? Let's take another look. Let's give that one. Did you catch it that time? The answer is nothing. Billy did nothing wrong. People can play the game how they want to play it. Now let's see what he does next. Leveled up. All right. Okay, I'm level two. Let's go. Oh, wait. I, I forgot. I forgot the quest. Well, there's actually a lot of people here. But, but people play this game? Return learned. Don't know what that means, but I'm not going to read about it. How do I get over there? I, I'm lost. Yeah, looks like a nice place. <gasps> oh my God. He must be like super max level. Flame puppy, huh? All right, flame puppy. One, one day I'm going to look like you, flame puppy. Have you the resolve to wield the lance? Yes, just like Lu Bu from Dynasty Warriors. Thank you. Please, can I now go go kill stuff? I, I would just like to kill things now. It has been a long time. Oh, cool. I got a, I got a quest to go kill things. Uh, let's see. What is it? Uh, a little ladybug. I, I have to kill a little ladybug. It's just a squirrel. A mushroom. I, I think people just eat those. This gameplay is exhilarating. Truly, oh, oh, I leveled up. Watch out, everybody. Strong guy heading back to town. Way back to where is town? How do I get back over there? How do I get over there? Oh, a squirrel. What's this thing? White Joker, huh? What? I don't think Dragoons are supposed to do that. Okay, pause again. Did you see what Billy did wrong that time? Oh yeah, by the way. So I recorded that first Fantasia section after I already started recording. So I'm just gonna leave the Fantasia on for now if that's okay with you. Got it? Okay, good. Anyway, so as I was saying, Billy still did nothing wrong. He's just playing the game how he wants to. I'm thinking, what, what other cool things can I show you? One of the first things that I like to do is get my hotbar in order. I like to keep skills with the same purpose on the same hotkeys. So like with White Mage, I have Cure and Cure 2 here. And then on Scholar, it's Physic and Adlo. And then on Astrologen, it's Benefic and Benefic 2. And with all of them, I like to keep Swift Cast and Raise on the same buttons as much as I can. And like with Tanks, I have Provoke all on the same button, so I always know where it is. My ranged attack is always on the same button, so I know where it is. The same cooldown effects are on the same buttons. Y you get the point here? It just helps you remember things and not push things by accident. And you can have different sets. Like when I go into healer mode, I like to move my party list in more towards the center so I can look at it. But when I'm a DPS or tank, that thing can go all the way out in Egypt. 
Some other helpful settings, let's see here. In character configuration, under character, right here, battle effect settings. When you're first starting the game, maybe you wanna have it on show off for everybody. But quickly, it might get a little overbearing with how many abilities are showing on the screen. So as you level, I like to show limited for everybody else. You still see the important things, you know, like, like, like heal bubbles and stuff like that, but you don't see all everything. Ah yes, another one. In character configuration, general tab, skip playback of previously viewed cutscenes so when you go into a dungeon again you don't gotta watch the cutscene again and this is what i do for sounds uh, i'm very particular with how i want my game to sound so if you want you could just copy these settings and kind of tweak them to what you want to do because a lot of the sounds in this game are unnecessarily loud this is probably the most important one i don't know if it's by default anymore but in character configuration ui settings hud tab all the way at the bottom turn on display targets remaining hp percentage i don't know if it's default it, it might be but it's so helpful for knowing if you're about to kill the boss or not one of the absolute best things that i can tell you is just read your tool tips if you learn how to read these guys enough you can kind of put together your rotation just by reading them uh, obviously you know watching a guide or reading a guide helps you out a little bit and yeah so besides that you'll be good you know, in your journey playing this game, just uh, do the MSQ, okay? Just keep playing MSQ and you'll be good.